Yeah, so go ahead. So, so go check it out. Uh, special thank you to Arcadian Sea and Boss Stage Games uh, for making our Japanese arcade room possible. No crap, they have like two initial D machines up there. They're absolutely awesome. Alright, so, while you were in the gaming district, uh, go check out a brand new gaming dojo. Um, that is a new area that we stood up, uh, specifically for Japanese games like Shogi and Go and all that fun stuff. So go up there and learn how to play and get really, really good, because, you know, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, that doubles the size of our tabletop game offerings. So go up there and learn about all the very, very specific Japanese stuff that we have out there. It's a whole lot of fun, okay? Deal? Yeah. Deal! Yeah. 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 So everybody likes coming to NDK, right? Yeah. 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 Have you ever thought about volunteering? Uh, really? I mean, seriously. That's, that's how you get to be on stage, like us. <laughs> That's right. You can take my job, actually. That's fine. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, if you're interested in volunteering, and we can definitely use you, we appreciate the help, uh, go visit the volunteer desk, which is right next to operations, and they will get you signed up. If you decide to volunteer, you can get some cool NDK swag, probably designed by me, you know, I'm not, you know, not to brag or anything. Uh, and even get your registration refunded. Yes! Yeah. Alright guys, every year at Indicate we try and do some good, and every year we have a charity. And uh, this year's charity is the Love Planet Foundation, put together by Miss Sandy Fox and Mr. Lex Lenny. You can those guys in a minute. That's what all the humbug is about. Um, Love Planet Foundation is helping build a better world by bringing awareness to education and many environmental issues that face us today as well as inspiring future generations to bring out positive and environmental change. Please visit the charity preview room to see tons of awesome donations from Sandy and Lex, as well as our friends at Funimation, to the resident charity angel, Miss Clarine Hart, who made me do a lot of stuff for us. So thank you, Clarine, very much. All right, ready? Here we go. To start things off, ladies and gentlemen, we're honored to have the Deputy Consulate General of Japan here to speak with us today. Please welcome Mr. Kazumasa Kondo, the Deputy Consul General of Japan. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. I'm very happy to be here with you. Uh, please bear with me while I with a message. It's very nice to see so many Japanese manga, anime, and games presented here in Colorado. I'd like to say a big thank you uh, to the Nandescan Board of Directors, their staff, and volunteers for organizing another successful convention this year. Thank you as well to the hundreds of attendees who came because your enthusiasm and support also make this event possible. In recent years, anime and manga in particular have become extremely popular around the world, as millions of people, children, teens, and adults, read and watch their favorite series. It has evolved into a universal language, overcoming language barriers and cultural differences to create a fun colorful environment for global exchange. The effect popular series like Attack on Titan, One Piece, Hunter x Hunter, and classic like Sailor Moon, Mobile Suit Gundam, and Dragon Ball. <laughs> foreigners is too significant to ignore. The government of Japan recognized that Manga and anime are a new component in forging relations with other countries, especially among, young, young, uh, among youth and young adults. One example would be Cool Japan, a project being developed to disseminate Japan's charm to the world in order to attract more foreigners to the country and culture. For many of you, a introduction to game, anime, and manga may have been the very first step in your interest in Japan. Regardless if you are a long-time or newcomer fan, I hope your love of these and other things Japanese will continue to grow and deepen 
helping to further strengthen the unique friendship between our two countries. The Japanese consulate will have a booth, artist, a booth in Artist Alley tomorrow and Sunday promoting Japan. We welcome all of you, so please stop by and we will be happy to talk with you. Thank you for your attention and please enjoy yourselves this weekend. This is my big day. This is my time to be a star. So we're going to kick it off with Robotech with the 2018 Robotech Convention Tour. Please welcome Steve Yoon, Tommy Yoon, and Kevin McKeever of Hardy Gold to their 11th NDK. marketing for the Robotech franchise, and I'm very excited to be here at NDK. We have some great panels planned for you over the weekend. Uh, the Robotech panel at 11 o'clock, and the How I Broke Into the Anime Industry at 8 p.m. tomorrow on Saturday, and the Robotech Free For All at 4 p.m. Steve. Also, Tommy, unfortunately, just got off the plane. He'll be here uh, for tomorrow, but unfortunately, I think he's going to miss the opening ceremonies. Unless, you know, he comes in huffing and puffing. <laughs> but, uh, but you can see him tomorrow. He was the director of Robotech The Shadow Chronicles. You can ask him all about uh, upcoming Robotech projects. Also, as has been a tradition for a whole decade, we will have the anime girl fight right after this opening ceremony at 6 p.m. We will argue about who would win in a fight, Chun-Li or Sailor Moon. And if that's not stupid enough, tomorrow we're going to ar argue about uh, Voltron versus Optimus Prime. We would win in a fight. <laughs> and see you guys at the Robotech panels as well. See you guys. See you guys. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I love this next lady so much. Partially because she just flew up in Japan, and secondly because she's really smart, and thirdly because she gave me some awesome long, long candy. Oh! Uh, I don't have enough to share. I apologize. I don't have to fight before. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Elisa Freeman. Please welcome Dr. Elisa Freeman. I teach Japanese pop culture, which is the nerdiest and the coolest job in the world. <laughs> I'm looking forward to talking about the educational value of anime, manga, games, and more. And yes, I'll talk about Long Long Man. Yeah. So please, tonight, if you want to learn more about study abroad, please come at 8 o'clock. And tomorrow, we'll talk about crossing cultures. Japanese trends in the U.S. and U.S. trends in Japan. And when you see me around, and I will be around, please say hi. Nice to meet you. Girls, you guys All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hold up, hold up. So, hold on. Okay, I'll be right back. Dude, where are you going? He practices. He's in the script. <laughs> no, don't take that off. Oh, no. Really? Uh, uh, special, special treat. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, oh, you put it, okay. you put it back on. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Carl did a lot of favors, and I owe this guy, so he said he can announce, and I let him do it, I shouldn't have do it, but he, but he, it, well, he, he needs to get out. Oh, here he is. Inside joke that I'm all about right now. <laughs> I cannot believe you brought that 
that dinosaur puppet here. I'm sorry, he's a real person. He's a real person. Uh, all right. Hey, how are you guys? You thought you could cheat me away, and plot twist, you could not. You thought your lack of oxygen molecules would make me not come, but you were incorrect, and I'm back. So, uh, I'm so excited to have a bunch of panels that I'm going to be doing this weekend, everything from like cosplay with pride and love and like all the like gay happiness and like, you know, all the like uh, all the way to some, uh, a little more like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Uh, which, I, I underestimated the power of my torso when I bought this romper, and like, I am just three seconds away from exposing everything to you guys. Uh, which brings me to a really great point. We have two fantastic burlesque shows again this year. Uh, I would love to bring up my BFFs, my amazing friends who've come all the way from Louisiana to give you one heck of a show. My fourth answer is the Royale Review! <laughs> we have Skeena Sinful, Felix Elixir, Little Bo Peek, and Lana Lovely. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> this right here. We have two shows, guys. We have tonight at 9 p.m. and also tomorrow at 9 p.m., which is going to be a smaller show. But tonight, I'm really, really excited to announce that we are doing Bippity Boppity Burlesque, a Disney-themed burlesque show. So, I'm so sorry about your childhood, but then again, I'm not. So, seriously, guys, thank you so much for having me and the performers out again. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a look. That was awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. We've got a ton of voice actors and they all got funny voices for you. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Zach Aguilar! Please welcome voice actor Zach Aguilar, who is very first in the game. Out. So I want to make sure I, uh, I tell you guys some of the roles that I've done. But uh, but recently I got cast in this awesome video game, and finally uh, I've been able to talk about it. I play uh, Harold and Elliot in a game called Flipping Death, and it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch. If anybody's heard about that, uh, another role you all probably know me as is Genos from One Punch Man. <laughs> Takaki in Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphans. Uh, Colt in Hunter x Hunter. Uh, Slain in All Knowing Zero, Sieg in Fate Apocrypha, if anybody's seen that yet on Netflix. Yeah, uh, Arthur in The Seven Deadly Sins. And, yeah, finally, uh, Koichi in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4. Which is all too long now, finally! So, uh, so I'm so excited, I know like I've been waiting for so long to, to announce the role, and they were kind of like coming out with the cast announcements. I was like, oh, I still can't talk about it, but uh, but yeah, I'm so excited to be here, guys, in uh, Colorado. I hope you guys will come out and see some of my panels and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's have a fun weekend. Woo! Thanks, guys. All right, and next up on our list is Sherry Lee. We call the voice actor Sherry Lee for her third NDK. far too long since I've been here, and as soon as I got here, I felt like I was, like you said, welcomed back into the family. This really is such a great family convention. I'm so excited to see all of you again and get to hang out, and we'll see how quickly it takes for me to heal this cold. Oh. It's going to be great. Uh, I know, but it'll be fun. I'm going to be doing a panel with uh, Lauren tonight. We're doing a Sailor Moon panel, and Maybe we'll get to hang out, or otherwise we'll just talk about how great Sandy is if she can't make it. <laughs> you coming too, Sandy will be there, so we'll talk about how great Sandy is while she's there. Uh, so it'll be so fun, please hang out. Um, I'll be talking about new shows. I can now talk about being in Boruto, I can play Sarada in Boruto, it'll be on Tsunami very, very soon. And we'll talk about Fairy Tale and uh, Gundam and Sailor Moon and all of that other fun stuff, whatever you guys want to talk about. I'm just so excited to be here and get to hang out with you. I miss Colorado. Yeah. See you guys next week. Yeah. I love your death. All right, guys, here we go. The friends, 
the fantastic <gasps> Samantha Noe Hart. Please welcome voice actress, producer, and director Samantha Noe Hart to her second in DK. There's one thing I don't like at conventions, and it's opening ceremonies. And it's because I never, you know, no, you know, I, well, but unlike you guys, I never know what to say. I never, like, I can't just, all of a sudden, can't just be quippy when I get it there. I don't know why, but I just wrote stuff down this time, like a smart person. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay, okay. So tomorrow at 11, I've got a VO Q&A with some of these lovely people. And then at 1 p.m., they actually let me, or letting me do my door key panel on roller coasters. Oh my god. Um, and then, because uh, you anime, right? All right. Um, and then uh, autographs at 3 p.m. Then on Sunday, I have autographs at 12, and then I'm done. Um, so I want to say I, am, I too, am really, really happy to be back here. I love this convention. I did my first one in 2003. I think. And um, I had missed last year to do San Japan and San Antonio, but I'm so glad to be back. You guys have a great weekend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she is absolutely awesome. We keep having her back because she's so freaking cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Lando! Please welcome her back as Lauren Lando for her seventh NDK. Back, you guys. Um, there might be a tiny little itty bit 
MC surprise at one of the burlesque shows this weekend? You're gonna have to go to find out. Who knows? Anyway, I'm really excited to be back. Please come and say hi and come see us at the panels and uh, let's have a great weekend. Thank you. I, I don't know how she, this woman is this amazing. I mean, yeah. she does most of her charity stuff, which is fantastic. <laughs> and she knits, which is incredible. <laughs> it's Clarity Hart! Please welcome voice actress and director of DVD, Blu ray, and video production for Funimation, Clarity Hart. Back for her eighth <laughs> in the game. I know everybody's so high energy, but I'm more a little down tempo. <laughs> so it's me, I'm just going to own it. Uh, so I have a couple of panels this weekend. There's a voice actor Q&A at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, followed by a signing. I also have my own panel at 11 a.m. on Sunday, where I get to talk about the wide, wide world of technical operations. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but that's actually my name for Funimation, so I get to tell everybody how the sausage is made. So, real quick. I do want to tell you guys, I cannot stress the importance, I would love for you all to go to the Charity Auction Preview Room to look at the items that we have there. They are absolutely amazing and this is going to a great cause. So I hope to see you guys this weekend. Thank you. Alright, this big hunk of man scared the hell out of me when I saw him first, but then I learned to love him. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lex Lang! Please welcome boys and actor and director, Lex Lang, who is very first in DK. Everybody. How's everybody doing? Well, you know, this is my very first NDK, and I'm really excited to be here. I've heard so many great things about it, but like already being here just one day, it's beyond my expectations, you know, so I'm really grateful to be here. Some of you, I'm going to use a little cheat sheet too because I've been doing voice acting. I've been voice acting now for about 22 years. And you may have heard me back in your childhood when I was, and I still am, War Graymon! Also, uh, Sonosuke Sagara and Rurouni Kenshin. So you like that style. I'm Kenshiro and Fist of the North Star. You're all going to and then also, um, Anchero and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah! If you guys play video games, you may know me as Dr. Cortex for Crash Bandicoot. Yeah! I also play Poe po Dameron in uh, Battlefront 2, if you like Star Wars. Yeah! And as a matter of fact, if you do like Star Wars, you can catch me as Stormtroopers in the last three movies. So, in Rogue One. And also, uh, The Last Jedi and the Solo movie, you can hear my voice as some of the stormtroopers throughout that. <laughs> and I'm finally allowed to announce it, for those of you who are into Star Wars, but I also play a major character in the upcoming Star Wars um, Resistance that's just been announced recently, and it's just kind of fun. And then there's a ton of other stuff, like Sanzo and Sayuki and, and other characters. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be doing some really fun panels with my wife, Sandy Fox, over the weekend. We've got one called Let's Get Loopy, where we're going to, we're going to look at uh, voice acting and, and loop groups in particular, which we do like voice replacements and voice matching and creatures and stuff. And we're going to get people from the audience, you guys, you attendees, up on the mic, and we're going to be doing scenes from some real famous movies, and we're going to be replacing voices and doing fun stuff there. And then for those of you who stay up late, with uh, reason to laugh and have fun. We've got uh, a panel called WTF Dub, which is at 11 o'clock, I believe, on Saturday night, and it's an 18 plus panel, and it's gonna be inappropriate dubbing on the spot with suggestions that the audience makes for us to have as a storyline. So that's gonna be totally off the hook and lots of fun. Anyway, I've talked enough up here. I hope to meet all of you over the weekend. We've got signings, we've got Q&As, and uh, don't forget the charity event on Sunday. It's going to an absolutely amazing project that we're getting ready to do, to uh, roll out this next year. So, thank you so much. I love you guys. We 
love voice guests and we love Sherry guests. So that's what we're all about. And next up, we've got Sandy Fox. Please welcome voice actors and director Sandy Fox to her very first NDK. This is my first NDK, and you guys are incredibly awesome, as well as the staff and the team here. And um, you've kind of heard all the panels. I'm doing the Sailor Moon panel tonight. Let's get loopy. Uh, autograph sessions on Sunday. Um, you might want to come by for some vintage pieces from Ghost in the Shell. I, I voice the Tachi Comas. Uh, Sumo and Chopin, Squad and Disgaea. And um, my love, though, I'm so happy to be a part of the Sailor Moon cast. These women are incredible, and it's an incredible story to tell the world. So thank you so much. I love you, and I can't wait to meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, I love her, and she's absolutely awesome. Miss Elizabeth Maxwell! Please welcome voice actress Elizabeth Maxwell to her very first NDK. You love me and you don't even know me yet. You all will too. Uh, no, seriously, you guys, I have heard from multiple other voice actors that Non Desticon is their very favorite convention in the whole world. So, you guys have a lot to live up to. You're welcome. Uh, let's see, do you all know who I am? Do, should I give you a list of credits or anything? Yeah. Um, well, I'm very excited to finally be able to announce that I am the Khalif La half of the Saiyan Fusion Kefla that just dropped in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Yeah. Um, I'm also Urbosa and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Nijima and Persona 5. Yeah. Looking at listing all my video game credits first from like an yeah. anime convention. Yeah. Um, um, let's switch gears. Um, I'm in here in Attack on Titan with Ms. Laura yeah. Lambert. Um, Motoko Kusanagi and Ghost in the Shell Arise. Yeah. Um, uh, Albedo and Overlord. Yeah. Um, Midnight in My Hero Academia. Yeah. A lot of big ones. Um, and let's see, the first thing that I will be doing for the con is a Q&A tomorrow at uh, 12, I believe. And it's just me. You got me all yourself. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I'm really excited to like actually meet y'all face to face. I've seen some beautiful cosplays already, so. And this man, really, he needs no introduction, but I guess I have to do it. You have to. I mean, he's incomparable, he's amazing, we love him, and he's back. It's Patrick Sykes! <laughs> Please welcome both actor, writer, and director of Patrick Sykes to a seventh NDK. Patrick <laughs> What have I done? Uh, <laughs> hey guys, good to be back. This is my, was it seven? Is seven? Yeah. Seven? Yeah. I can't count that high, so I'm taking on thing. It's seven months yeah. gone. <laughs> Love being back. It's so great to be back. I'm drinking water. I'm staying hydrated. Uh, <laughs> I, I almost didn't make it to the car. Because when Lauren Landa screamed into the mic, my soul almost left my body each time. <laughs> I love, I love. <laughs> um, I list out the credits, but you already know if there's a dude with an eye patch, or a guy that yells loud, or a guy that like attacks the characters you like, or is like the father figure of the characters you like, I'm probably that guy. So, um, I don't have any burlesque planned as of now, but the weekend is still young. <laughs> Science, and I've got the sites panel, and I've got uh, Q and A video panels with these guys. 
I've got all sorts of stuff. I'm going to be wandering around. You'll find me in Artist's Alley and the Geo Hall looking at stuff, wandering through like something from, you know, um, that game where you have to kill the Colossi, Shadow of the Colossus. Please don't play. <laughs> I'm so, I'm just so glad to be back. This year was a busy year, and a lot of you guys were like, oh, 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 but some con offers were coming in. It was like, this little man, I'd be like, no, 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 not time, no, not time. And then Nardis, I was the one that's like, shh, and I'm that bass, and that bass is my heart, and here comes Nardis, and I'm like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He just weaponized NDK, and that was awesome. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Some very, very, very special guests from Japan. These are two of the cutest and grand dames of the voice and rain actors world. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage Keiko and Mikumi Han. Please give a warm welcome to Ms. Keiko Han and Ms. Mikumi Han at their very first appearance at NDK. This is my first time in Denver. This is my 45th year as a voice actor this year. I think that uh, maybe the Lord was uh, who brought me here with my daughter to meet you here at NDK on my 45th year as a voice actor. So I'm really, really happy to be able to have been called here to Nandeskan to a town that is just an amazing mixture of the old and the new and to an audience whose uh, fandom is a mixture of the old and the new. I'm really grateful. So, uh, as the voice of Luna. I'm going to 
るのがすごく久しぶりで、この仕事を始めて、こうやって一緒に呼んでもらって、皆さんと出会えたことに感謝しています。So,、uh, to be able to be called here with my mother together on a job, I'm really super grateful to be able to be here to meet all of you. Thank you very much. And this is the first time I've ever been to Denver. Me too, me too. I love Denver.
like the Dickens and we sent that all the way up into the sky. And guess what? It's coming down like a meteor and we gotta catch it. So everybody, on your feet! And we are going to welcome the energy of NDK back into our lives because you know what? You are family and we thank you all so much for coming in. It's the biggest family reunion you've ever been to. And you know what? We love each and every one of you. So ladies and gentlemen,